I'll need it. Cam, you can go ahead. Hey, Paul. Um, Coach, ugly game, as you know. Coach Lou referenced uh, you guys didn't have the pop coming into this game or through throughout the game. How do you ensure as a, one of the leaders on a team that you develop this pop for Wednesday night? Um, I mean, it, I, I take full responsibility. Um, you know, it's a tough game coming from Christmas. Um, you know, I enjoyed my Christmas day. I enjoyed my Christmas day yesterday. Today just popped up on me a little too fast. Um, I'll take full ownership for that, um, of coming out and being prepared to play today. Um, be a different situation come uh, next game, and, uh, you know, we'll be ready. Make sure um, our group will be ready. Thanks. Uh, Canty, you can go ahead. G, um, for you as a veteran player, how do you maintain this team together as one of the leaders, and how do you process this loss, even though it just won a game, so you guys can continue playing as – first two games that you guys started the season? Um, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we got our, our boats kicked today. Um, but, you know, it's, it's one game. I um, think we'll just take what we need to take away from today um, and go to the next one. Um, we wasn't ready today. We wasn't prepared, um, not from the plan, but just from us being ready to go. Um, and that's on me. Um, and so, you know, we'll be ready for the next game. You know, it's one game. It's not like we lose or we get three L's and by 50 points. Um, one game. We'll move over to uh, Andrew. You can go to Andrew. Hey, Paul, there are a couple instances in that first quarter that I'm guessing you'd like to have back a couple passes that get intercepted and they lead to quick points. What do you feel like you have to do when you evaluate yourself to cut down some turnovers this season? Um, I think just just valuing the possession. Um, so all I got to do is just value the possession. Um, you know, and, and you know, just sometimes have a more of a aggressive mentality um, at all times. Um, it's, it's just what I got to just carry into every game. Thanks. We'll go over to Miriam. Well, hey, Paul. Um, uh, wondering if, if playing in an arena without fans and having no energy, like the, the lack of energy is especially weird when you're down that far. And then also just kind of looked at, look, Serge was still kind of trying to work with the kids on the bench. Um, what did you see from that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's still a ball game to be played. Um, and it's still our duty um, to, to help the younger guys. Um, you know, try to help them learn something in the situations and in the, in the minutes that they were playing. Um, it's all about building. Uh, we understood that, you know, we didn't, we gave a poor performance, um, but the young guys still have a lot to learn. And it was more so about helping them. Um, and then I'm sorry, what was the first part of that question? Just if, if playing in a arena without any fans and having that lack of energy is especially weird or, or I guess the deterrent when, when you guys are down so big. Um, I mean, it's going to always be weird, but um, I think that's an excuse that we can't use because, um, you know, the, we should be used to that by now. Uh, we went through a whole half a season last year with no fans, so um, it's not an excuse that we can use. Thanks, Paul. We got time for one more. Jonathan, you can go ahead. Hey, uh, PG, um, um, early in the season, um, you know, losing like this, can you kind of use it as like, you know, a um, teaching moment um, for you and just for the guys as well, just knowing that you got to come ready to play um, every single day? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, like I said, take full responsibility, um, you know, of not being ready. Um, I will be ready the next one. Um, it's just a tough situation. Like I said, coming off of being on the road on Christmas, I had my Christmas yesterday. Um, I'm, I hope everyone enjoyed the Christmas day yesterday. Um, and that was the reason for a sluggish day today. Um, early game, we just got to do better of just being prepared and being ready uh, physically and mentally to come out and play. Thanks, Paul. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks, Josh. Let's get ready 
for Hoop Jab.